gym. Everyone's staring at me. It's awkward. I'm uncomfortable. You guys are also staring at me. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to be hitting a little back workout. Focus on thickness, so we're gonna get a lot more of that rowing motion in. We're gonna do a little stuff that will go for the width and go for the lats a little bit. So it'll be a little bit of back and forth. We're gonna kinda of see what's open, what's available, but we got a few things. Might throw in a couple supersets, so it's gonna be a pretty good back workout. So we're gonna start with a little hammer strength and do the hammer rows, and then go ahead and go from that. Talking like you think you're royalty You think that I'm afraid But I don't break I heard you question my stability You think I'll fall just like a guillotine But I am here to stay Won't look away The storm is coming So you better start running so now we're gonna do a few lap pull downs. I prefer reverse grip, but sometimes I go a little wider. I like to do the narrow grip every now and then. But I would do. I prefer we're doing reverse grip. You get a little more biceps with it, but I mean, who's gonna complain about that? And a lot of times I'll end up sometimes doing a drop set with these. It just kind of depends on how I'm feeling or what it is that I'm trying to work or how my arms feel afterwards. But ultimately, I prefer doing the reverse grip, right? It's my favorite way. And again, it's going to be a little more bicep heavy than doing the wide grip, but we're going to get a little more extension so that way no one complains about lack of stretch on the top. And it's gonna be different for every person. Some people, when they get that stretch at the top, they're gonna to feel a little more. Other people, they'll just wanna to try to keep it a little more tighter and not go as wide on top or go as, top, as stretchy on top because it's gonna vary. So everyone's gonna be different in terms of what you feel. You have to do it for yourself and understand when you're trying to feel that in the lats. And back is always one of the hardest things people have when it comes to that mind-muscle connection that so many people talk about. But I think as you learn and as you do more of these lifts and when you're in the gym, you kind of learn to understand what it is that you feel and what lifts work for you. So if that's going all the way stretching or just trying to focus on that tension and try to keep it on the lats and not going all the way up, it's just gonna depend on the person what's best for you. So, all right, now we're gonna do some cable bent over rows. So we're just gonna go ahead, come over, grab our cables like so, pull it out, get a good bend. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and do the cables for one more set, and then we're gonna go ahead and transition into some bicep stuff. So we're gonna do a little bit of bicep stuff, try to squeeze in one more rowing exercise, and then we're gonna finish it off with everyone's favorite, some pull-ups. So let's go ahead and finish these out, and go ahead and do a few biceps, then maybe some pull-ups. I'm 
Uh, do a little cable curls now, probably a set of 8 to 12, probably whatever weight you're at, whatever you can do, and then just kind of go from there. Like you guys might know, I was keeping my biceps a little more tight. Some people really try to go out with it a little more. Um, again, that's going to be something that's going to be super particular for certain people. If you're trying to, some people try to tell you to drive basically with your pinky and ring finger, try to focus more on getting into that outer head to try to focus on the peak. For some people, it'll be trying to get more of that wide extension. Not quite like a cheek curl, but trying to get more of that wide extension. I think, again, for everyone else, you have to just kind of get in there and try it, see what feels good for your arms. I think I chose the squeakiest, loudest machine in the entire gym. Everyone's staring at me. It's awkward. I'm uncomfortable. You guys are also staring at me. Everyone's looking at me. It's cool when you guys do. It's weird when they do. Let's see we get this done. I'm so squeaky and I was doing such light weight and everyone saw and looked at me. I gotta get out of here. It wasn't me, it was, it was that other guy. All right, let's get out of here. No, I like this one because it feels like it's an on amusement park ride because everything's about to move. All right, ready? You just have to try it just to see if it feels like you're on a carnival ride. And if you're not, I I don't know. It wasn't don't tell them I sent you. That's all I can say. Alright guys, this could be it. This could be the last set, best set. You guys know who says that? Comment below. Tell me who says that. If you know. If you know, you know. All right guys, so we're gonna finish it off. Finish off back day, hard back day. Now everyone's favorite, we're gonna finish off pull-ups. I think it's a great finisher. Really try to go to exhaustion. Now I will admit, I am far from perfect at pull-ups. In fact, I'm pretty terrible at them, but we're still gonna try to get some in. And then remember, if you guys can't always do them on this, this machine right here is amazing. Assisted pull-ups for those that can't quite get them all in, or you're just really trying to build an overload on pull-ups. So we're gonna go ahead, Try to get a few. I'm gonna go for seven, maybe eight. We'll see how this goes. Seven. We'll, we'll say it was eight, but it was seven. That's all right. Talking like you think you're royalty You think that I'm afraid But I don't break I heard you question my stability You think I'll fall just like a guillotine But I am here to stay Won't look away The storm is coming So you better start running this was 
saw back workout. Thank you once again. Uh, if you want to see me do more back workouts or other things you should try in my back work workouts, comment below. All right. Thanks again. Talk to you next time, guys. Take care.